All right, guys, we just got to Rottnest. Uh, we got the 7.30 barge over from Hillary's Boat Harbour. Um, quite a nice smooth ride we had over. Yeah. And it's just after, what, quarter past eight? Yeah, so, so we got 40. the first boat um, possible and we're getting the 4.31 back home. Um, we just want to make like a full day out of it because it is quite expensive to get over here. Yeah, we would have loved um, to stay, but this time of year it's really busy and quite expensive to stay there for a couple of nights. Yeah, we had a look at some of the accommodation and I can't remember quite how much, but it was like $400 or something like that per night. So we thought we'd leave it. Um, anyways, we're here now. We're gonna um, go to a few different of the bays. Um, we got bus tickets instead of Yeah, a lot bike. of people said um, take your bike over or, or hire, hire a bike, bike etc. But uh, we also talked to a few people saying if it's really hot, um, it's quite hilly, so you get quite tired. And yeah, um, if you want to go see the whole island, it's a bit of a mission to do the um, whole thing on a bike. Yeah, and especially because we, we're we here. could do it, but it just would take a bit longer too than a bus. Yeah, and it worked out cheaper. It was fifteen dollars, um, or oh, twenty dollars for a bus ticket, or thirty dollars to hire a bike. Yeah, and plus we're only here for the day, so. We would have to like ride pretty fast in between places and then um, we've also got our snorkel gear. Yeah. So. And the bus is pretty good. It comes around every half an hour and it's a hop on, hop off. So you can just hop on whenever yeah. um, it comes around and yeah, should be quite good. So we'll show you what we get up to. We'll do a bit of snorkeling, a bit of swimming. Yeah, and just have um, a look at a few of the places. I don't think we'll get around to obviously each beach today, but no. yeah, we just All the main do ones. what we can. Yeah. We didn't film a lot of us or us talking at all yeah. um, while we were at Rodnos. So it was a pretty jam-packed day. Yeah. Um, we wanted to go and see everything we could. Um, also, there was a lot of people on the bus and yeah, I think on the beaches. So one was, of the busiest days. <laughs> um, a bit of a rush to kind of get everywhere. Yeah. Um, also, it was really hot. It got to 38 degrees um, at Rodnos, but 30, no, 42 in Perth. Yeah. Um, so it was quite hot, but it was good because we could swim and snorkel. And yeah, we got really lucky with the weather. Like you want it to be really hot, especially the water there is a bit colder. I don't know. We found that it was a bit colder, yeah, so a bit. it's nice to like want to get. And in there the wasn't water. any wind, so that was good too. Yeah, it was. It was really like such a good day weather-wise. Um, 
the it, the flat like the surf was flat so it was good for snorkeling we had no wind um it was just that it was busy so like getting on the bus and that sort of thing mm. um it was always busy and really hot so yeah we didn't really film too much of us talking just because of that and we felt a little bit rushed for time because we're trying to fit it all in um in the day but yeah definitely recommend but, if you're not from Perth um, and you are visiting, go check out Rottnest. Yeah. It does cost a bit, especially if you've got a family, um, but it's definitely worth um, checking out. It's yeah. beautiful water, snorkeling and And you swimming. could easily spend a few, few nights oh, yeah. there. Like if, if you, you can afford it, um, definitely. You have time. Yeah, spend a few nights there, relax, because there's so many bays and stuff to go to and yeah, different can, little you, beaches and you can do a day at like every kind of bay or beach yeah like just take drinks and food and just relax yeah. there for the day um but you can definitely do a day trip too saying that like just yeah take the first ferry and come back on the 4 30 or the i think they do a 6 30 um that was a bit late for us but 4 30 we still fit everything yeah 4 30 and we were so tired by the end of it like it's a full full day full in the sun um but yeah when you're over there you get to see the clockers as well which is pretty cool we got to see them in like the sort of main food court area yeah um and there's also a subway a bakery a few general stores definitely recommend though if you're on a bit of a budget taking your own food yeah as you probably know, when you visit little islands or, um, yeah, just Anywhere, yeah, yeah, eating food out really <laughs> um, gets quite expensive. So we took sandwiches and muesli bars and that. Yeah. Um, we did buy a couple of bottles of water over there yeah. because we ran out and we wanted cold water. Um, but yeah, apart from that, take your own food and drinks probably. Yeah. Save you a bit of money. Day, save you a bit of money. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a really cute little island and definitely something to check out when you come to Perth. Yeah.